What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. A sweetheart of a person and a beast of an actor. She's had more roles under her belt than some of the most popular actors in the industry. Everything from The Dark Knight Rises all the way to Slenderman. This actress has one hell of a portfolio. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Joey King all movie roles and actings. So let's dive right in, should we not? First things first, a short bio. Her birthday? July 30th, 1999. This would make her only 21 years old right now. And when you consider how successful she actually is, it's actually hard to believe she's that young. Her town of birth is the capital of American showbiz, Los Angeles, California. However, what we're uncertain about is who instilled in her the love of acting. Was it her parents, Terry and Jamie King? Or maybe it was her sisters? After all, she's the youngest of three, and all of them are pursuing acting as a career choice. Does the name Hunter King ring a bell? No? Well then, what if we told you Hunter King has actually played Summer Newman on The Young and the Restless, and for the role she received two Daytime Emmy Awards? Well, this popular actress is actually Joey's older sister. And the other one, Kelly King, is not that famous in the movie industry as of yet, but we bet it won't be that long before she lands a breakthrough role. So with all of this talent and the family, Joey King turned to acting from a young age. Being within driving distance from many auditions meant that her parents could easily drive her to auditions. And that's when we get to Joey King's first roles. This first part is going to be a compilation of all of the small roles she had to play in her formative years in order to get where she is right now. So the first acting gig that Joey ever did was actually a serial commercial. After this, when Joey was around six to seven years old, she appeared in one episode of Malcolm in the Middle and two episodes playing a little girl by the name of Emily Manson in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. From 2006 until 2007, she had somewhat of a recurring role on Jericho, where she played Sally for three episodes straight. After all this, she got to appear alongside Adam Sandler's Reign Over Me, where she played the daughter of Dr. Charlie Feynman. Next on the list of movie roles came Horton Hears a Who, where she voiced a character by the name of Katie. And of course, that same year came Quarantine, where Joey King portrayed Brianna. When it comes to her television roles in the period between 2007 and 2008, Joey King has played minor, one to two episode roles in series like Avenging Angel, Entourage, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and of course, the most popular of all, Medium, where she played eight-year-old Kelly McKenzie. 2009 rolled around and Joey King still hasn't had her break, despite all of these good movie roles. But she's a trooper and she never gave up. She had only one movie role in 2009 and that was the voice of Beaver Girl in Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Television was basically the same, as she only had one minor appearance in a television movie titled Anatomy of Hope. And there she played Lucy Morgan, who, smash that like button if you haven't done so already. The break she's been looking for, Ramona and Beezus, 2010. Good things come to those who wait, or in this case, good things come to those who work their asses off, and Joey King is no exception. During an interview when she was answering how she became famous, she said it was all thanks to a lot of hard work. And she's right, imagine being a small girl having homework and still making time for a busy movie career. Well, her hard work finally paid off, as she started to reap the benefits from playing in a movie alongside Selena Gomez. Selena was playing Beezus, the older sister of Ramona, which was being portrayed by Joey. And it's precisely because of this role that she was featured on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, where the long-chinned host gave her a little pig for her birthday. After her big break with Ramona and Beezus, she also got to star in the majorly popular TV show Ghost Whisperer, where she played Cassidy for two episodes in the season. 2011 and Crazy Stupid Love. This year was not as successful as her previous one. She did appear in the movie Battle Los Angeles, where she plays a minor role by the name of Kirsten. The other movie that could be considered somewhat a success is Joey's 2011 repertoire in Crazy Stupid Love. In this movie, 
Joey played the little daughter of Julianne Moore and Steve Carell. And of course, we can't forget TV. You could say that she was somewhat successful on this stage as she played in the main cast of Bent, where she took the role of Charlie Myers. And of course, she has also appeared in Survivor South Pacific, where she played herself in the episode titled Reunion. 2012, the roles start going up. Just as the new year rolled in, so did Joey's new successes. Why? Because she managed to score a minor role in one of the biggest Hollywood movies, The Dark Knight Rises, where she played the little Talia al Ghul. That's the girl that Bane loved so much that he helped her climb out of the pits while risking his own life in the process. So, you see, this was not a bad deal for Joey. The show was called New Girl, and Joey King was a part of it in 2012, albeit a rather small part that lasted only one episode. 2013, Conjured Up. Would you believe us if we told you that this 14-year-old girl managed to land roles in four rather big movies at the time? The first one is The Conjuring, where Joey King portrayed the role of Kristen Perrin. She was the little girl that kept seeing the monster behind the door. The next movie she played a role in was Family Weekend, where she was little Lucinda Smith Dungy. After that, we have White House Down, and of course, we can never forget Oz the Great and Powerful, where she voices up the little porcelain doll that Oz takes on the trip with him. And that's not all she did in 2013. Joey also managed to land the role of Missy Jordan in The Hunting Hour, the series, and she played the role for two episodes. 2014 and 2015. Every actor hits a dry season in their lives, and it seems like this was it for Joey King. Since there were not too many significant roles during these two years, we will only list those that we think are actually important for her career. And we kick off the list with Wish I Was Here, where Joey portrayed the role of Grace Bloom. And in 2015, she had Stonewall, where, again, Joey played a secondary role. TV life seemed to be goof at the time for Joey, as she landed a recurring role throughout the entire first season of Fargo. And then she was a special guest in seasons two and nine. Another big step up was the voiceover she did in one episode of American Dad. 2016 is Independent. We named this section Independent because Joey King actually landed a role in Independence Day Resurgence back in 2016. In the movie, she plays Sam Blackwell, a minor role, but a major movie. She was even featured in the trailer. And if you watch The Flash, you know that Joey played Magenta, the villain that could control objects with her mind. And then she had the main role in the comedy series, Tween Fest. 2017, Wishing. The most interesting role that Joey King had at this time was the main role in the horror movie, Wish Upon, where she played Claire Shannon. Another movie she starred in is Smart Ass, but the movie is not that famous. She also appeared in Going In Style. TV seemed a little dry in 2017 for Joey, as she didn't have any movie roles at the time. 2018, Kissing. Now this is the year we were waiting for. This is the year that everything changed for the actress. It's the year when she appeared in the kissing booth alongside Jacob Elordi and Joel Courtney. And we don't suppose we need to be telling you a lot about the plot of Elle, Lee, and Noah, right? 2019, some meticulous killing. Since the kissing booth hit theaters, Joey King managed to land a lot of different roles, and the one of Gypsy Rose Blanchard earned her an Emmy nomination for the drama series The Act, which is actually based on a real story. 2020, and more kissing. Since the first kissing booth movie was majorly successful, they did another one, Nothing and no one stood in their way, and Elle and Noah got to tell their love story well beyond college life. But we got to see how they managed to cope with a long-distance relationship. Spoiler alert, it's not so good. Couple this with voicing an episode in The Simpsons and you're pretty set. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which of Joey King's roles were your absolute favorites? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.